Hello everybody! Are we excited for another crazy day of Eurovision songs? I think we are! If you guys are new here, my name is Nish and I do reactions here on YouTube. I'm actually really prepared for today because I knew that this was going to be one of the biggest days for song releases. We actually had a song release yesterday that I didn't react to but we now have a video and that is for Australia in this year's Eurovision Song Contest. So last year Australia was going to send the amazing Montaigne to sing the song Don't Break Me. I think Montaigne has a very unique but amazing voice. Don't break me. Don't break me down, 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 down. Her song was good but it definitely wasn't my favorite out of the contest last year. Yeah it was still a strong song though let's not forget that. And this year she is back. So she's going to be singing the song called Technicolor. Looking at these visuals her aesthetic is everything like it's very much me so i'm hoping that it replicates in the song so why don't we find out what australia has to offer but before we do so guys please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel over here that is very important clicking that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and if you want to have a cheeky little follow over on instagram it is nush 101 Okay, Montaigne, please take over my annoying singing. So this is live at Mardi Gras. Okay, clicking play, yeah. Montaigne. So this is, I guess, as live as we're gonna get because there's no music video. I love those jewels! Her hair, her appearance is very different to last year, but I think I prefer this. Her voice, guys. Oh, there's a lot going on in her voice. That's hard to do with your voice. Oh, take off your clothes. Okay. Very different to last year. More electronic beats here, though. I kind of like this. got an 80s synth beat. I'm a sucker for that always. I just love her outfit. And I really like this song too. So this is going well for me right now. She's definitely a performer. There's a Marina and the Diamonds feel about her voice. I don't know what it is. Ah, that's hard. Ooh. Take off your gloves! It's like Lara Croft mixed with like 90s feel. But with an 80s beat. I love the colors. Just like the song states. I mean. She has an operatic style voice. Oh my god, okay. Okay, I don't know about this key change bit so much. There's just a lot happening! <laughs> but I can't stop watching. I mean, wow, okay! Australia! I'm not gonna lie, I preferred that to last year's song and I don't know if it was just the whole aesthetic of this. It was just so different though and it kind of shows us what Montaigne can do with her voice. There was points though I would say are a little bit whiny for me in this but I think it's really different. I don't think there's anything like this in the contest so this could really stand out. I will say though this is a very specific taste when it comes to the song. I don't think everyone is going to like this. I do think this might be a bit weird for some people. It all depends on her voice, the staging, and just how she performs on the night really. But yeah, I don't know. I quite enjoyed that. And I think if she just practices a little bit better on some of the vocals, this is gonna be a really, really good performance. But yeah, I enjoyed that. I couldn't stop watching it. So that's definitely a bonus, isn't it? Anyway, guys, what did you think of Australia's song for this year's Eurovision Song Contest? Please let me know down in the comments section below and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.